dance floor. There's a lot of different kinds of dance floor out there. Some are cheaper than others, and people kind of want to go with the cheap, but if you go with the more expensive, it's way easier, way faster, and I'll explain all the reasons why. This video is for the new person, the person just getting into rentals or already into rentals and wanting to add some dance floor. The vets already know all this information. So sorry vets, just pass on. Now dance floor is expensive, the good stuff is. People will tend to try buy the cheap stuff first because it's so cheap and you think it's gonna be easy and great and you're gonna make a lot of money. Well, it takes a lot of time and a lot of prep to make the cheap stuff actually work. The problem with the cheap stuff is you need to put down a subfloor beforehand when you're doing it on, on grass under a tent. Now a subfloor is taking a lot of time to do. The amount of time that I can put together a floor of the really, really good stuff uh, is going to be like a quarter of the time. And you're just gonna repeat that every single week, spending a lot of time putting down a subfloor. So my suggestion is you spend the money up front to buy a really good high quality dance floor made to go under tents. Now Seco floors and Palmer Snyder have four by four sections that go together real easy, no subfloor needed. You just put it down and leave. Uh, the other kind you'll see in the second half of the video is the one that people buy a lot. It's called snap lock or your event deck. There's a whole bunch of different ones. It was really intended to be on a hard surface, it cannot be on grass. So here's the two dance floors. But before that, message from our sponsors. Are you thinking of starting a rental business or growing your rental business? At Recipe, we help young, hungry entrepreneurs like you start their own business. Our experience of over 15 years as rental business owners and professional digital marketers make us the greatest team to help other people launch their own profitable business through website, marketing, and consulting services. Go to recipe.com to start or grow your rental business today. These are my 4x4 panels made by Seco, S-I-C-O. It does not need a subfloor, doesn't even need anything under it because it is waterproof. This dance floor has a male and female edges, two female, two male. The female is a slot and the male sticks out and it has a cam lock that you use an Allen wrench with. Very simple, very easy to do. This is a one person setup to show you how easy it is. First, I get the floor a little bit on top of the other floor and pull back so it pulls the grass back. Line up the male with the female put it in and then lock it in place with the Allen wrench and the cam lock. The corners are a little harder with just one person, but you do the same thing. I put it on top of the dance floor and pull it back to keep grass from going in. And then I line the male and female up again. I always try to put male into female. So those two corners that went in were male going into female. I believe it's a little easier. And then you just lock it in place. Again, this dance floor, has deep channels for the female and the male is quite large so it makes it very very easy to put this together this is a nine by nine dance floor and it took about eight to ten minutes to put it together now this is a two-person setup i like to lay down one piece at a time instead of laying it all out and then having to like move around it so we just bring one piece off at a time off our cart and it's the same thing just easier and faster uh, the corners are a lot easier with two people because one guy can be on one side the other guy's on the other side and kind of shakes it in same concept we put it on top of the floor that's already down and drag it back a little to keep grass from getting in there if grass does come up it's easy to get out you just pretend like you're getting rid of a scuff mark on a floor and kind of just kick the grass and then it just disappears uh, we do have a rubber mallet because sometimes it is helpful to just bang it into place a little bit and then lock it with the cam lock then we do not clean these by hand at the warehouse. That would suck, that would take forever. We just take some purple power mixed with water, spray it on the dance floor and use mops. See, it works real well. And then we just squeegee it off. Real quick, these are the edge pieces. If you end up doing this dance floor inside, you definitely need the edge pieces. We do it outside and it's just kind of annoying to put these on. So we don't even put them on no one knows a thing but inside 
definitely need it. This is the other option some people will choose when purchasing their first dance floor. They are one by one panels. We keep them together in two by three and keep them on a cart so we can bring them in and out doors real easily and save time on having to set it up. But they do come in one by one panels and you just put them to get together. We use this indoor only. If you use this outdoor, you need to use a subfloor with either plywood or some sort of modular tent flooring system. If you just put these pieces on the grass under a tent, the second someone steps on them, they will just fall apart, rip apart, completely come undone. This is why we only use this dance floor for indoors. It goes together really fast on a hard surface. Plus the back doesn't get dirty. We don't have to spend a lot of time doing a subfloor underneath. We don't use our four by four panels indoors because we don't use a tarp or any subfloor under them and the backs get dirty. We don't want to bring those into an indoor place and then get their carpet and stuff dirty. Like I said, this dance floor can be used outside under a tent, but you're going to spend a lot of time and time is money, but you're going to spend a lot of time putting together a subfloor every single time and it's not always going to be perfect and it's going to kind of suck. So this dance floor, I suggest only getting for indoor on hard surfaces, putting it on carts in two by three sections so you can transport it in and out of hotels and banquet places really easily. Do not use this for outdoor dance floor. Spend a little bit of extra money and get the four by four panels that don't need a subfloor or backing. Now this floor has edges that are really easy to put on. You just snap the male into female and just keep going down the line. Uh, female into male is easier. The male into female, you actually have to kind of lift the dance floor up a little to get it in. But this dance floor is super fast to put together indoors on a hard surface. It sucks for outdoors. So we get $30 per four by four panel. Most dance floors end up being 16 by 16, 16 by 20, 16 by 24. Don't even want to do the math on that. But with these four by four high quality pieces from either Seco dance floors or Palmer Snyder, a 16 by 20 can be accomplished in like 10 minutes, taken apart even faster. It's a real high return on investment and time. If you're using the indoor dance floor, the, the ones that are one by one sections and try to do it outside, you're going to have to be put that blah, blah be putting down a subfloor because it just will not work it'll fall apart you're gonna waste a lot of time now there are other size dance floors like three by three is a common size or three by four i personally like the four by four better i feel it can kind of go over uneven ground and kind of self-level plus there's just less pieces to move around this over here is a three by three piece i think i got 36 pieces uh it just takes up a whole lot more room and it kind of follows the curve of the ground more so you can see that it's more uneven the four by four pieces less room uh so less time setting up and it kind of self levels over uneven ground so i would suggest getting four by four panels and yes people dance floor is expensive you're going to be like oh my god but usually within one year it pays for itself lasts forever this palmer Snyder dance floor that i got back here i've had for 15 years has made me tons and tons and tons of money yes it's going to be expensive however it's going to last forever i don't know not forever but it's going to last a really really long time and make you a lot of money just don't be afraid to price it accordingly don't price it at ten dollars a panel fifteen dollars a panel i was at 25 now i'm at 30 because hey a lot of other people don't have dance floors. So if you really want a dance floor, you're gonna have to pay for it. Get dance floor, it's expensive, but it makes a lot of money. Thanks for watching.